Why didn't the sheepdog laugh at any of my jokes? Because he had heard them all. <laughs> Sheepdogs like to herd animals, mostly sheep, but sometimes people. <laughs> we have two sheepdogs, and this is Hot Dog. Hot Dog, say hi. 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 <laughs> We have hot dog and trousers here, and today we are gonna draw a sheepdog. I'm really excited. Let's get started. Hey guys. So today I'm using a black marker, a pink marker, and a trusty gray marker. <laughs> so the first shape I'm drawing for my sheepdog is the nose. It's kind of like a triangle shape. Um, <laughs> sheepdogs, Old English sheepdogs have big noses that are wet and so I've actually left a little um, shape to show the light shining off of the nose. Now I'm going to add one eye. Um, you can draw your sheepdog without eyes because their fur covers their eyes. So I'm gonna just add one, but the other one is hidden under the fur. Now to make the shape on the face, I've just did these kind of soft curved lines. I'm not gonna fill anything in. They are just the furriest dogs ever. So you want lots of fur on them. <laughs> Next I'm doing the tongue, which comes down just below the nose. Sheepdogs have a big tongue that's always hanging out of their mouth. And I've made the rest of the mouth black. So they kind of have this lion mane that comes down underneath the head. It's just this big tuft of fur on their chest. It's very furry, so I'm doing that next. And I'm gonna do the front two paws. So I just did a line coming down and I'm gonna come on the other side of the paws. Now sheepdogs have big feet, or it looks like they do, because they're covered in fur. And it looks like they've got giant paws and giant legs, but it's mostly just fur. So I'm doing the front two legs. I'm coming down. And I'm going to do the back legs. So the back legs, the feet don't come as far as the front two feet go. There, I got my lower part of my sheepdog. Now it's time for the big old head. <laughs> and with all that fur, sheepdogs have a giant head. <laughs> it's nice and soft though, so if it if you bonk into it, you don't have to worry too much. So I'm going to do the ears. Now the ears are kind of hard to see on a sheepdog. Um, they just kind of lay flat against their face, but uh, they are covered in fur as well. So it's just one big furry mob. <laughs> so I'm going to take my gray marker, and sheepdogs have legs, their back legs are gray. When they're born, when they're puppies, they're black and white, but within a year, they turn gray and white. So we're just doing the back two legs with the gray. And some sheepdogs have markings on their faces or their ears that um, are gray as well. So we're gonna do one ear gray for our sheepdog. <laughs> Last coloring in is our pink tongue. Yes, they have big tongues. And they're always wagging. <laughs> so this sheepdog is inspired by my sheepdog, who's 11. This is Trousers the Sheepdog, or the Old English Sheepdog. I would love to see your guys' work and what you come up with. We'll see you next time. 
and we hope that uh, you have a great week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>